हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं एयर एमसीक्यूज ऑन एयर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन एयर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फर्स्ट एमसीक्यू इज इन्फेक्शन एक्वायर्ड ड्यूरिंग हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन विजिट इज आर्टिफिशियल इन्फेक्शन नोसोकोमियल इन्फेक्शन और हॉस्पिटल बोर्न इन्फेक्शन और एयर बोर्न इन्फेक्शन एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन B that is nosocomial infection. So the infection acquired during hospitalization visit is nosocomial infection. Okay. So move on to the next question. Next question क्या है देखेंगे? So next question is it is hypothesized that air is not comfortable habitat for microorganisms compared to water and soil because lack of nutrient. scarcity of water and dry environment stunts growth initiate and initiate desiccation and the next option is solar radiations and the last option is all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above are reasons for not growing microorganisms in less growing microorganisms in air okay so the reasons are lack of nutrient scarcity of water and dry environment stunts growth and initiate desiccation and solar radiations these are the responsibles these are responsibles for not growing more microorganisms in air so move on to the next question it is which of the following pollutants is responsible for the formation of smog and the options are carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide or ozone and the right answer is option b that is nitrogen dioxide so nitrogen dioxide is a pollutant which is responsible for the formation of smog okay so next question kya hai dekhenge so next question is which of the following pollutants is the primary component of cigarette smoke and the options are carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide or particulate matter and the right answer is option a that is carbon monoxide so carbon monoxide is a pollutant which is primary which is the primary component of cigarette smoke okay so next question mein jayenge abhi so next question hai which of the following are the major microbial inhabitants of air and the options are bacteria and viruses yeast mold and fungi or spores of yeast mold and bacteria or all of the above and the right answer is option d it is all of the above so all of these bacteria viruses yeast mold and fungi and spores of yeast mold and bacteria all are responsible or all are the major microbial inhabitants in or of air okay so next question kya hai next hai which of the following viruses are highly resting in air environment and the options are enteroviruses retroviruses hepa dna viruses or all of the above and the right answer is option a that is enteroviruses so enteroviruses are highly resting in air environment okay so move on to the next question that is in air generally different organisms and their different types present as contaminant but on an average their size is 0.2 nanometer sorry 0.2 micrometer or 0.001 micrometer or 0.10 micrometer or 0.0002 micrometer and the right answer is option a that is 0.2 micrometer so in air generally different organisms and their different types present as contaminant but on an average their size is 0.2 micrometer okay so move on to the next question in what condition sorry in what condition do microorganisms in air face dehydration and the options are high temperature and low humidity low temperature and low humidity high temperature and high humidity or low temperature and high humidity and the right answer is option a that is high temperature and low humidity so in high temperature and low humidity 
in that condition microorganisms in air face dehydration okay so next question hai in general operation theaters in general operation theaters bacterial count of air should not exceed 50 per foot cube or 10 per foot cube or 5 per foot cube or 1 per foot cube and the right answer is option b that is 10 bacterial count per foot cube okay so in general operation theaters bacterial count of air should not exceed 10 bacterial count per foot cube okay so next question is the high temperature in air results in increased microbial growth desiccations increased nutrient accumulation or decreased spore formation and the right answer is option b that is desiccation so the high temperature in air results in desiccations okay so next question here which of the following is least likable habitat for microbes and options are air soil water or all are equally favorable and the right answer is option a that is air so air is least likable habitat for microbes so move on to the next question so which of the following represents indoor genera or genus and the options are staphylococcus species bacillus species clostridium species or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so all of the that means staphylococci species bacillus and clostridium all represent indoor genera or genus so next question is probably our knowledge about number of microbial species in nature is 1%, 100%, 10% or 15% and the right answer is option A that is 1%. So probable, probably our knowledge about number of microbial species in nature is 1%. Okay. So move on to the next question that is what is impact of solar radiations on microbial society in air and the options are mutation, formation of free radicals, growth cessation or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so this mutation formation of free radicals and growth cessation which are which impact on solar radiations on microbial society in air okay so these are the impacts on microbial society okay so move on to the next question that is the wavelength of visible light varies from 100 to 250 nanometer 300 to 450 nanometer 400 to 700 nanometer or 50 to 150 nanometer and the right answer is option c that is 400 to 700 nanometer so wavelength of visible light varies from 400 to 700 nanometer so the next question is in operation theater for neurosurgery bacterial count of air should not exceed 50 per foot cube or 10 per foot cube or 5 per foot cube or 1 per foot cube and the right answer is option d that is 1 per foot cube so in operation theater for neurosurgery bacterial count of air should not exceed 1 per foot cube so the next one is which of the following is uv rays effect on air microflora so the options are nucleoside deamination guanine guanine dimer thymine thymine dimer or adenine uracil bonding and the right answer is option c that is thymine thymine dimer so thymine thymine dimer is the effect by the uv rays to the microflora okay so move on to the next question that is which of the following are major sources of bioaerosol in air and the options are agriculture and animal farms sewage treatment plant waste management all of the above and the right answer is option d it is all of the above so this agriculture and animal farms sewage treatment plant waste management all are major sources of bioaerosol in air 
so the next one is which of the following can be a component of bioaerosol and the options are aspergillus and penicillium erwinia and alternaria or cladosporium and actinomycetes or all of the above and the right answer is option d it is all of the above so this all of these microorganisms can be a component of bioaerosol okay so the last question of this video that is which of the following are resting forms of bacteria in air environment and the options are conidia endospore basidiospore or sporangium and the right answer is option b that is endospore so endospore is a resting form of bacteria in air environment okay so thank you for watching this video